we have a lot of news. I mean, a lot. Oh, we have our cow, Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? All Hello, right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple a couple of huge 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 gaming nintendo switch gaming news items for one epic video but of course as always before we get started give the video a big thumbs up like 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 destroy eradicate let's get over 300 likes for this video we can do it boy and we got the homie Etika in the intro, like I said I would. All right, the first news item, Pokemon Snap. We got a couple of dope news items for this video, but this is number one. Pokemon Snap has been officially announced for Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo 64 Online. Pokemon Snap is coming on June 24th in approximately one week the original pokemon snap from the nintendo 64 free for nintendo switch online subscribers which is pretty cool never played pokemon snap in my life i didn't even play the remake that came out on the switch i definitely definitely will be um, um of course getting the game but trying the game out y'all already know we got that a nintendo 64 switch online controller and hey at the end of this video after we do all the lit news items why not unbox the other controllers that i got i'm only waiting for the sega genesis one and then we'll be good to go we're gonna be playing them retro games boy all right so pokemon snap june 24th next news item is pretty pretty huge the nintendo switch has now surpassed the three and this is significant the nintendo 3ds in japan now the country's third best-selling console ever in the history of all japandom <coughs> the why this is big japan is huge with handheld smaller consoles and for the Nintendo Switch to pass the 3DS is a significant milestone. Um, it's eclipsed, you know, passed the 3DS at 25 million sold. And according to Daniel Ahmad, he's an industry analyst. Um, I like to following him on Twitter. He's, he's a good take on things. That it's now on track to catch the Game Boy at 32 million, 32.4 million, and the DS, not the 3DS, the DS at 32.9 million. <coughs> so those are the only two consoles in Japan ahead of the Switch. Switch is gonna pass both. Trust me. The Switch is gonna pass the Game Boy, which is crazy if you, you know how iconic the Game Boy is. And it's gonna pass the DS, which sold like hotcakes. I still remember walking into Toys R Us buying me a ds Lite, i thought that was the best thing since sliced bread with new super mario uh, brothers on it and so significant significant huge milestone for the switch the switch train keeps chugging along and there's no stopping it speaking of no stopping it uh reggie fils that's right former president of nintendo the dude who you see hanging out with your boy in the intro um he has been recently interviewed and he has gone on record to say the transition from the Switch will be, and I quote, a significant challenge uh, for Nintendo. <coughs> I agree and disagree. I agree in that <coughs> going from one generation to the next is always going to be tricky to try to keep that install base. I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. If Nintendo had achievements... That's right. That's right. Where's my dead horse? We're going to beat that dead horse. If Nintendo had achievements, you know what? It'd be a smoother transition because dudes can see their account 
Oh, look at all these achievements I have linked to my account. I gotta keep playing on my Nintendo console to keep getting achievements on the next gen console. Psychological warfare, Nintendo. All right, but <coughs> um, it is always tricky going from one generation to the next. But at the same time, I think Nintendo's gonna be all right. It's gonna be the software that carries them over. If they make the next iteration Nintendo console similar to the Switch where it's more powerful and it plays the same exact games and then there's a slow transition for developers to leave the old Switch behind, the software is gonna keep Nintendo afloat. So if you come out with the next iteration of Smash, Nintendo's gonna keep making money. If dudes don't upgrade to the next console, they're gonna keep um, buying Smash on the Switch and it's gonna um, sell like hotcakes and um, dudes that will eventually upgrade to the new console while Nintendo's still making money on their software. So I think Nintendo's in a good, a good position if they do it right, they do things right. From the Wii U to the Switch, um, it was completely two different, um, it was discs, it was just two different consoles. The Wii U was a portable. Nintendo's next console is also a hybrid. They're gonna be all right. Not my words. Trust me, trust me, Reggie, on this one. I got this. Bro, this next news item came out of nowhere and I'm happy for it. You see this game on the screen? Final Fantasy, Final, Final C, <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven. Crisis Core Reunion has been announced for the Nintendo Switch, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Final Fantasy VII Remake Crisis Core, it's called Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion has been announced for the Nintendo Switch coming this winter, this winter. Square Enix had their presentation and I think this is pretty dope. This is a triple A game. This was originally on the PSP. This is a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. So you can see the events leading up to iconic Final Fantasy VII. Um, dope, dope, dope. I'm definitely gonna pick this up. It's a no brainer, bro. A lit RPG coming to the Switch. This is crazy. A welcome, welcome surprise. Um, and so coming to the Switch this winter, this is going to be an easy, easy day one buy. Pending what surprises Nintendo also have. Nintendo Direct announcement coming soon, incoming. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And the last news item. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge launched yesterday and... The reviews are coming in and they are phenomenal. The game is standing at a solid 85 on Metacritic and everyone who has reviewed, played the game is saying this is one of the best beat em up games ever. This is just a dope game. I played it yesterday on the channel, the full game from beginning to end with the sponsors. If you want to join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, links are in the description. And I love the game from beginning to end. Uh, a lot of nostalgia, uh, the, the roadmap, uh, that's from the old school NES game. So the very first NES game, so a lot of dope stuff. Speaking of NES, let's unbox these controllers. I'm going to give my initial impressions. I got the NES Switch controllers and the Super Nintendo controllers. So let's do this, man. This is it. Nice packaging, it has like a little um, plastic covering. And let's take them out. I'm gonna just open, take one out of the plastic for now, for this video. And, huh, feels like an NES controller. Oh, this is gonna be so lit, play these NES games with it. And it has um, the thing that you can slide it right into the switch to charge, that's how they charge. I wish it had a USB-C charger on it too, that would've been dope. But this is the controller that started it, it not started it all, because I had an Atari, but the second controller for me that started it all. Lit, 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 can't wait 
does have um, decent, not too much weight to it. Just, it feels good. NES, boy. And let's unbox, unbox the GOAT. That's right. Super Nintendo, greatest console of all time. It's not debatable. It's facts. I want to be careful with the, with the box. Because I want to keep this stuff in my game room. Can't wait till the new house is built. Gonna have a new game room. All right. Oh, and the Super Nintendo one. Not Nintendo just must have just heard me. All right, this still also has some weight to it. All right, here's the Super Nintendo one. And it comes with a USB-C. Bro, this has a ZL and ZR. That's crazy. I just realized something. This has a Z button too and a ZR. So this could probably be the ZL on the Switch and Z. Bro, I could low key play games with my son. Nah, but I'm just using these for the classic games. One of the greatest consoles of all time. All right, so we're gonna charge these bad boys today. I'm almost done with Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Then I'm gonna be playing that Super Mario All Stars as a uh, game on the Super on the Super Nintendo. I don't know what I'm playing on my NES, but retro gaming. Lit, lit. I love the Nite what Nintendo's doing with their Switch Online services. That's me, bro. I like the retro games. I like the retro releases. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, oh. Wait, where's my bro? Bro, fail. It's right here. Before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things then ten go. We out. Peace. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man. I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. If you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master, the right Jedi here. Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go. Right. <laughs> 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said he ain't no dead.